<laughs> I'm Russell, Glenn Russell. This is Private Mullins. Rick. Uh, hey, Rick. Uh, I think he can say John. Did you say private? Yeah. Yes, sir. The Shoots County Militia. You're not from around here. You come over the pass? Uh, no, no, no. I've just been uh, drifting. I came over the uh, salt flats east of Silver Lake. <laughs> what? What the hell are you doing out here, man? How'd you get across the 97? Whoa, 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 whoa. Jesus, man. What? This guy just saved your freaking life. The colonel told us to look out for anybody entering the territory, north or south. It, it, well, it, it, freaking slow your roll, man. We'll let the captain deal with that, okay? Fine. You, you just killed a freaking ranger, dude. Come with us. We got a camp just by Diamond Lake. Get you three hots in a cot. Least we can... Okay, yeah, sounds good. What about Flores? We can't just leave him here. Uh, you stay here. I'll come back with some fuel. No! Listen, stay here. Use his ammo if you gotta. You'll be fine. Okay? Let's go. Following you. some people and a woman that I rode with a year back or so. They would have come over from Silver Lake. They would have been at one of those Nero refugee camps, I think. Silver Lake? Jesus, man. Silver Lake's been gone a lot longer than that. Yeah, yeah. It's too goddamn easy to lose track of time out of here, you know? Anyway, you guys, uh, do you pick anyone up? Survivors, I mean, from, uh, from the refugee camp. Maybe. Like I said, it's a big freaking army, you know? Ask the captain. He came in across the salt flats, I think. He might know. The captain? Yeah, Corey. He commands the Diamond Lake outpost. We're almost there. This is it. It's Corporal Russell. Open up. Mullins, Flores. Flores is dead, sir. I'll have Mullins with the body. That'll be all, Corporal. Go get some fuel. Head back to Mullins. You know what to do. Yeah. Yes, sir. If it wasn't for this man, we'd all be dead, sir. I sort of promised him some food and a safe place to camp tonight, sir. Corporal, get the fuck out of here. And you are? Name's Deacon St. John. Name's Corey. Derek Corey. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry, I'm a little tired. I've been on the road for a long time. Your man Russell said you were recruiting? Well, are you interested? I've been looking to settle down. Yeah, find a camp. I'm interested. So, how long you been drifting? Hard to say. Uh, you lose track of time out there, you know? So, uh, where'd you get your gear? Ammo. Well, there was a couple of camps I used to do runs for. Bounty hunting, mostly. Freaks? Oh, man. 
both. I had a reputation for being able to track shit down, you know? On now, they're overrun. Uh, Russell said you were there when Silver Lake was overrun. <laughs> yeah. That was a shit show, I can tell you. Uh, any survivors? A few. Why are you not working hard? Why are you still in my obstacle course? Why are you not finished with my obstacle course? Here, take this. Militia script, camp credits. Payment for helping my men. Use them at any of the commissaries. Okay. You gonna join up? Stick around. We're getting ready to ride out of here soon. Getting ready to ride out where? You said you had some tracking skills. Yeah, some. This isn't the life of a drifter. We're fighting a war out here. You sure you're up for it? Is that the best you got? I can recruit you, but the colonel is the only one who can swear you in. You stick around. Give us a hand. I'll take you to him myself. I'll be here. Good. Jesus. Jesus, motherfucker has my ring. He took it from Sarah. He had to take it from Sarah because she wouldn't have given it to him, so that means that she's got to be here. Doesn't look like militia. Go, go, hey, go! Hey. You gotta move your ass! Hey there. You think you're gonna outrun the freaks? Hell no! New you're around not. here? Come on, you got here. Well, Deacon St. John, you do your job and we'll get along just fine. How's that? <laughs> move, move, yes, ma'am. Come on! You can run faster than that. Later. My dead grandma can run faster than that. My dead Good day. You are new here? I am Lumi Ikeda. Deacon, Deacon St. John. You're, uh, you're the bounty collector around here? Yes, of course. Okay, one, then. Two, Goodbye. One, two, one, two. Follow the cadence. Moving, Sergeant. Yes, Moving, yes, Sergeant. Sergeant. Hey, uh, how's it going? I ha haven't seen you around before. L Lucas Monroe. Yeah. Yes, sir. yeah. Yes, sir. Oh, okay, then. Stop by soon. Why are you not working hard? Why are you still in my obstacle course? Why are you not finished with my obstacle course? I you don't like it that much. Do you want to run it again? Then be my guest, princess! Hey. Uh, you don't look very militia to me. No, my name's Wade. Wade Taylor. You can call me Wade. Deacon St. John. <laughs> Holy Listen. shit. Deacon St. John, is your old man a preacher or something? No. Man, that is a hell of a name. All right, listen. You wait. see this, man? This is some crazy shit. Yeah. Whew. So what, you joining up, becoming an army man, you playing soldier and shit? I don't know, maybe. Listen, mm -hmm. uh, you look like you just came in from out the shit, right? Yeah, man, yesterday. Okay, yesterday. I've, been I've been waiting to see the current like this around here. Uh, nah, man. Ooh, she is a looker. I'd hit that, you know. <laughs> Uh, I gotta go, man. They're checking me for lice or some shit. Good luck to you, Deacon St. John. Jesus, what a name. Jesus, that dude's fucked up. He wouldn't remember Sarah if she slapped him in the face. Come on, Sarah. Come on. Where the hell are you? You're here. Somewhere. Maybe in these tents. Maybe in here. The infirmary. I mean, with her background, that's where she would be, right? Check this one. Nope, not here. Cute drawings. Oh, God. I'm glad Sarah and I never had kids. Losing them must have. Sarah? Sarah, you in here? <sighs> Shit, not here. Oh, God damn it, she's not here. She's not here. 
here, but right, yeah, yeah, it couldn't be that easy. Not could. You got a radio? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm here. Meet me at the gate. On my way. You got a problem? My dead crippled grandmother, who is in a goddamn wheelchair, can run faster than you. Yes, sir. Sir. Moving. Sergeant. Moving, Sergeant. Sir. Hey. Getting ready to ride out. You still coming? Ready when you are. Looks like you put a lot of work into this. Yeah, some. have nowhere to sleep. You know you're freaks, huh? Like I said, I've been out in the ship for a long time. So that's your plan, huh? The militia, I mean, to burn everything to the ground? We're fighting a war out here, St. John. We'll do whatever it takes to win. A war? That's what it is, isn't it? A war? You've been out in the ship. You've seen the wards. The only thing that's gonna stop them is an army. Our army. It's gonna take way more than an army. some folks that I rode with once and I thought maybe they ended up there. Uh, I thought maybe you were after someone. For a bounty, I mean. Yeah, no. I tracked men over long distances before, but not this far. No bounty's worth that. Captain's here. It's done, sir. Make sure you make a marker. Yes, sir. All right. You two head back to Diamond Lake. Grab, uh, Taylor, what's his name? Yes, sir. Yeah. Take him to the Colonel. I'll be there in 1800. Sir? Military time, Corporal. You're supposed to know this by now. Oh, yes, sir. Get the fuck out of here. Yes, sir. You find something? Uh, how long is, uh... Vasquez. How long has Vasquez been with you guys? A couple of weeks, maybe more. <laughs> well, he's been busy. What the hell? You guys been having trouble with supply runs, marauder attacks? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go on foot from here. On foot? Why? <laughs> because Vasquez came out here for a reason. I can't track him from the bike. Where do we start? It's been snowing, so, uh, there won't be any boot prints. Come on, I want to look inside the cabin. Okay, I'm following you. Oh, I duck.
You, uh, <clears throat> you said he stole rations, ammo? Yes. This is an MRE. It's half eaten, so looks like your men rode up on him when he wasn't expecting it. His bike's still out front, which means that he went out the back. Wait, over here. What'd you find? The fence has been cut. And the rust. So it was cut recently? Yeah, come on, this way. Hey, hold on for a second. Look, over here. This way. Wait, 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 hold up. What, you find something? Yeah, shell casing. Recently fired. He, uh, well, he stopped to shoot at something. Come on, down here. Hold up, hold up. Is it infected? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Um, come on, I want to take a look at that deer carcass. Go on, get out of here. What are you doing? That ever work for you? <laughs> Look out, more wolves! I see him. Come on, come on, come on. That is the Akukai Nani Badman, actually, I'm so calm, it's a devil. That's the last of them. That's what they belong. Who can I miss? What is this? Is this my fault? Is it a good job? Worth some credits. Okay, I want to take a look at this thing. Right through the head. Yeah, the wolves must have heard the shot. Decided they wanted it more than Vasquez. Yeah, the rest of the pack came at us from back that way, from the east. You think they chased off Vasquez, leaving one to guard the carcass? That's my guess. Come on, let's see if you're right. You guys got a lot of wolves out here? The ones that aren't infected, I mean? Now we get reports almost every day. When I was a kid, growing up, there were no wolves in Oregon. I mean, a few coyotes, but no wolves. They've been driven to extinction by ranchers and farmers, timber companies. Well, it looks like they're making a big company. Hold up, hold up, hold up. It's a backpack. 
Looks like they almost got to him. No, no, no. To buy time. He landed on his ass. Tried to scramble away, but then the wolf lunged. Vasquez dropped him. Two shots. Yeah. Tak tu je kokot. Co tam je za štichuj? Yeah, right there and hiding from these sons of bitches. You ever take on a swarm? Yeah, I've done it before. This is gonna keep moving. Well, look, you're gonna join the militia. You must stay focused on the mission. We're not out here to fight freaks. Being a shit, joining freaks, it kind of goes hand in hand, doesn't it? Put some distance between us and the graves. The cold weather's gonna bring out even more of them. I think they can smell the corpse from about a mile out. Part of our slash and burn strategy is to find these grave sites, dig them up, and burn them along with everything else. Yeah, well, good luck with that. I've seen hundreds of them, just in this part of the state alone. We gotta start somewhere. There's a road ahead. Hold up a second. What do you think? Is anyone else tracking him? Not that I know of. Huh. Well, but he's either dead, or he's got a lot of friends. You see how his tracks have been overridden by bikes. A lot of bikes. Okay. Come on. Let's see where they're heading. You said cold weather brings out the freaks? Yeah, yeah. Cold, snow, rain. strategy be well he's not alone we know that from the tracks what's that militia penalty for going a wall hanging by the neck until dead why well it means vasquez isn't coming without a fight oi tak do boha Pojď, debil. Ježiš, tak taký si jak Magor. Šipy nemám z čoho vyrobiť. Kulovnicu som si nevymenil, bazmek. Jak u chujov na dvore. Ty aspoň strieľať budeš chuju teraz. To ty si daj ruky v bok bazme chuja. Ty 
you see your man? Yeah. That's him. Oh, looks like you guys need to start doing background checks on your recruits. He seems to be right at home. Well, let's wait here. I'll radio for backup. Get your goddamn hands off me! Oh, this one's a fighter, boys! On. What do you think? Oh, come on, Bob, oh, see about that. <laughs> What? Uh, I just got this problem with assholes who hurt unarmed women. I'm giving you an order. Order? <laughs> you see me wearing a red armband? You don't give me orders yet. You do whatever the hell you want. Stay behind me. You give me cover if you have to. Shalane. Got him. Čo ti máš si posratý bagmek?
Już nie nabija ci kokot. I'm not gonna, I'm just here to help. I don't need your goddamn help. Okay. I'm just gonna move over here. <sighs> Stay the hell away from me! Hold on, hold on now. We're not with them. <laughs> you give a damn who you are? Okay. Okay. What was that? Uh, 
damsel in distress. Vasquez? Done. Way done. Captain Corey? Come in. <laughs> this is Corey. We're here. Heading up the road to the main gate. Hold your position there. We're coming. What about the enemy? They've been, uh, uh neutralized. Uh, hold your position. Hurry out. Come on. Did I pass? Pass? Oh, you've been watching me all day. I figured this was what? Some kind of test. <laughs> no. Nothing quite as formal as all that. As you can see, our pool of recruits isn't what it used to be. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. You pass. Oh. You ready to meet the colonel? <laughs> yeah, sure. Or the hell not. <laughs> So, St. John, where did you serve? Before the ship went down. And you know what an MRE looks like. You know how to recon an enemy position. You know cover in advance, tactical maneuvers. So, where did you serve? Marines? Army? I try not to talk about it, you know? I mean, first year out here, it seemed like anyone who used to wear a uniform had a target on their back. I, uh, I was in the Army. 10th Mountain. I did a full tour in Afghanistan. So how about you? Anyone who's ex-military has a, a certain bearing. None of your soldiers have it, but you do. Like I said, you got a good eye. I was in the Air Force 10 years. Part of SAC. There ain't no missile silos in Oregon. I was on vacation, believe it or not. I was lucky. Before SACCOM went down, I got hourly. I want to show you something. So, you familiar with this area? Yeah, I grew up in a town north from here. Uh, it's called Farewell, you know it? No. Uh, it sounds like a fitting place to be living at the end of the world. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. Well, maybe you have been here before. Yeah, I've been here. Uh, a few summers back, me and my old lady, or my wife, we stopped by here on our honeymoon. You got a pick? Uh, of your wife, I mean. <laughs> My name was Karen. We were married 12 years when... Anyway, it was a long time ago. Keep out. Huh? Oh, no, no, that doesn't apply to us. Why? Because we can't read? Because we don't obey the law. <sighs> Speak for yourself. After you. Mm. <sighs> All right. Uh, you know, making me a co conspirator, not very chivalrous. Chival what? <laughs> no, it means, um. <laughs> Yeah, if I'd owned a cell phone, I'd have taken a picture. Well, for just this once, I'm glad that you did. Oh, come on, don't start on that again. Hey, I didn't say anything. You brought it up. You just did.
where are we going? Just follow the trail. You'll see that it's not that far. She'd say, honey, you better wear your sweater. Very funny. Yeah, she wouldn't say anything, you know? You weren't supposed to tell them about us, remember? Oh, you can I said that a long time ago. You know I didn't mean that. <laughs> That's because your father's dead. Well, yeah, yeah, I mean, there's that. anyone in the MC that you're dating a nice girl from Seattle and not some bimbo from whatever strip club you guys live in. Oh, well, oh, oh, wait a second. No, we don't live in a strip club. I mean, we have a lifetime membership there. That's true, but we don't live there. Second, uh, I did tell them. Yeah, matter of fact, I did. Wait, you, you did? <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on, don't sound so surprised. They find your PhDs. No, no, I bet. I bet. I bet. I bet. So, you know this is way past my bed, right? Oh, I know. <laughs> come on, stop. I mean, I really do have to get up early right tomorrow. Yeah? Uh, how's that going? I mean, you, uh... Well, you never want to talk about it, so... It's nothing. It's just... Ugh, it's just this project, I and mean, we've got these execs flying in from New York to audit our progress, and the suits at our facility are installing a new lab without even choking me to spec, and... Ooh, well, I thought you didn't want to talk about it. <sighs> Sorry, it's just... You know, like I said, it's nothing. Anyway, thank you for dragging me away from all that. Yeah, no problem. this what you wanted to show me? Say what? Well, these are marijuana plants, and that's an irrigation system, so this here, this is a pot farm. Oh, hey, yeah, look at that, pot farm. You dragged me up in the middle of the night, in the middle of nowhere, to show me the MC's illegal growing operation. Uh, yeah, I mean, you got me. <laughs> I was hoping that you could give us some tips, you know, cultivation. Put all those PhDs to work on something actually useful. Jesus, TQ, what? <laughs> okay, I get it. This is not actually what you wanted to show me, right? No, of course it's not. Come on, keep following the trail. We're almost there. Ugh, you think I would learn? You think I would learn, but I never would. That moonlight, it is, it's so beautiful. Keep going, uh, we're almost there. You ever wonder what it would be like if just everywhere all at once the lights went out and everyone could just see the world just like this? What, you mean like all dark and shadowy and depressing? I mean the moonlight, the wildflowers, the fireflies. Oh, I see you were kidding again. Okay, you don't take anything seriously. 
Oh, I take everything seriously. Oh, yeah, right. I do. You do not. Like when I suggested moving some of my stuff over to your place, you pretended that I was joking. Uh oh, -uh, no, that's not true. I pretended I didn't hear you. There's a big difference. You should have seen the look on your face. And you know, I do have a cell phone and I took a picture. You want me to show you? My God, you're a scientist. Can we be rational about this? Okay. First of all, all I said is that we should think about moving in together. You know, because we get to spend more time together and, you know, take the next step. What's irrational about that? I have a toothbrush at your place. Oh, I'm so sorry. Do you know how much a good toothbrush costs? Okay, see, there you go again. Every time I try to talk about our future, you turn it into a joke. Okay, all right. We do need to talk about it, and we will talk about it, but just hold on for a second, because I want to... <laughs> I want to show you something, okay? See? This is why I brought you out here. something I've been meaning to ask you. Yeah? <gasps> Deacon? Will you... Will I? Will you, uh... <laughs> <laughs> so that a yes? First one is that we don't have one of those biker weddings where you say that you're gonna ride me as much as you're riding me. Done, I couldn't promise that. Anyway. Stop. Okay, the second one... The second one is that you never leave me. Done. Hey, you spread your bike around my finger? I probably Ooh. did. <sighs> Look at it. It's so cute with this little thing. It's just like clenching onto the chain. You know, nothing says true love like dog skulls. Dog skulls. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what does it say there? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you knew Latin. Come on. Oh, it's Morier Invictus. <laughs> it means death before defeat. Wow, I like that. Well, you're gonna get me with a real ring, though, right? No, that this one's yeah, not absolutely, great. Because I, I just you know, thought that's my ring. Right, it's your that, ring. Right. Something more simple, without fangs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> mm. oh, shit, I'm sorry. No, yeah, it's your ring. It's the lab. I gotta get it. Okay. Hello. Yeah. No, no, no. It's fine. I'll be right there. Okay. Bye. Is everything okay? I don't know. They need me back there. What? I gotta go. Uh, th this minute? Like, th this time of night? I'm sorry. I have to go, but I promise I'll make it up to you. His name was, uh, Beth. No, I don't have a pig. Let's go.
Not unusual, you know. I'm sorry, what's that? To not have any photos of your wife, family. Yeah, why do you say that? Back in the day, everyone used smartphones. Oh, let that go good teach us. The phones went away, and the cloud went away. Our photos went with them. Yeah, I guess I hadn't thought about that. My wife, Carrie. Her father was a photographer. Old school. Dark room, chemicals, all that. Too stubborn to embrace the digital age, I think. I mean, it seemed like everyone walked around with their noses buried in the damn things. I never owned one. Interesting. How'd you manage that? I worked as a mechanic. I, uh, I had my own shop. Probably had the last landline in Farewell. You guys are taking this shit seriously. The Colonel believes with enough motivation and discipline, we can achieve anything. Come on, hurry your ass up. I'm going as fast as I can. Just move it! Is that your idea of motivation? The Colonel set up a work camp on the south side of the island for those unfit to serve. Some of them require extra encouragement. I'll bet. Come on, follow me. Yes, sir. Stand up there with the others. Good luck, St. John. Hey, man. It's good to see you again. St. John, right? Son hey, of the preacher man? Taylor, what's this son of a preacher man shit you keep saying? I'm just kidding with you, man. Hey, do you have any luck? What? The, the woman you were looking for, you and your peeps were riding with. No. I need all your jewelry, watches, shit like that. Come on, in the bag. What? Sure, man, whatever you say. The hell you say? Recruits aren't allowed personal effects. This side shit's just gonna get stolen. Come on, cough it up. Oh, yeah, shit's gonna get stolen. Oh, shit. Get hot! <laughs> At ease. Visitors are not welcome here. You are here because you were invited, recruited by my trusted officers. When you answer me, start by giving me your name, last name first. Getting by, same as everybody. Name. Atkins, Crystal, sir. How many men have you killed? Before or after? Answer the question. Fuck you! <laughs> we have all done things that we're not proud of. What? To survive. To stay alive. The Almighty understands this. Right. Here. On this woman's face. <laughs> are the footprints of Satan. <laughs> Prison tattoo. Proof of what you once were and no doubt still are. It's people like her that are responsible for bringing the wrath of the Almighty down upon us yeah. all. <laughs> Take her to the work camp. What? Ah. You. Yeah. Fuck you. Come oh. on, gorgeous. Oh. Goddamn oh. redneck assholes. Get off of me. <laughs> What about you? Uh, Taylor, uh, wait. And, um, no, sir. I, uh, never been to jail. Never killed anyone, nothing like that. You've been in the shit for a long time. Yeah, I mean, I, I know I know how to shoot stuff. My, my dad took me hunting when I was a kid at a, at a camp near Klamath Falls. It got... 
And how about you, son? You know how to use a gun? St. John, Deacon. Yeah, I know how to use a gun. You're a drifter. Hold out your right arm. Tenth Mountain. Iraq? Afghanistan. Honorable service, and don't lie to me. Calm now. <coughs> served one tour, served with honor. Hated every goddamn minute of Hold up your right hand. Do you solemnly swear to support and defend the new constitution of these United States? Against all enemies, natural and unnatural, to bear witness and support to the same, and to obey all orders without question. So, do you swear? I swear. Walk with me, son. What's up, soldier? Captain Curry doesn't bring me many recruits these days. You must think highly of your combat skills. Oh, I've been in the shit a long time. You know your way around the freaks? Yes, sir. I, uh, I know as much as anyone, sir. Good, good. In here. We'll have the doc take a look at you. Pulse is strong. Good heart rate. Got a pretty nasty burn there. How'd that happen? Uh, had a run in with a wood stove. Wood stove, huh? How'd you dress this? I did. No está mal. Not bad at all. Keep it dressed or you're gonna lose that arm. You hear me, amigo? Yeah, yeah, I hear you. I want you to check back with me in a few days. You doing runs out in the ship? <laughs> Sorry, Doc. Uh, yeah, tiene novia. Uh, he's spoken for. Let me guess. The Wizard Island Witch. Vaya con Dios. Good luck, amigo. Let's go, son. I normally don't tolerate insubordination. There we go, Sara. Charo de Ica. Yes, sir. I make exceptions because every man and woman still living has a role to play. Do you believe in God? St. John? Never gave it much thought, sir. Well, it's high time that you did. He has a plan for us, all of us. And my part is this. Sir? This place. I had a vision. Oh, nothing so grand as those described in the Old Testament. No flaming chariots or burning bushes. I simply woke up one morning before God's plague had rained down upon the world and knew that this was the place. Crater Lake, uh, Wizard Island? I call it the Ark. Are you familiar with the story of Noah's Ark? Yeah, I mean, yes, sir. I mean, everyone's, everyone's heard of it. Indeed. You'd be surprised how few have read the story. I mean, um, that... It's, it's the book of Genesis, sir. Yes, of course. Okay, son, let's get you squared away. What do you say? Now, we don't have much in the way of uniforms, I'm sorry to say, but... Um, I think that, uh, oh, here, try this on. Seems to fit. I'll take that. Well, if you don't mind, this is a gift from an old friend. An old friend? Not many of those left anymore, are there? Okay, soldier, but I don't want to see you wearing it. You're one of us now. Normally, we start new recruits in the rank of private. But since Captain Curry has vouched for your experience in the field, we are starting you out at the rank of corporal. 
Thank Congratulations, you. son. Thank you, sir. Yeah, let's get you some work. All right. Now, what was I saying? Uh, you were telling me about the Ark, sir. Yes, the Ark. What you see here is only a small cone's peak. When our work is complete, they will be filled with thousands of seeds, plants, computer files, and books. The world may die, but our achievements in medicine, science, and technology will not die with it. No, sir. But the island is more than just an arc, Corporal. It is a stronghold, a fortress. Here at the North Gate, we are stockpiling enough munitions to take the fight to the freaks. We have rifles, grenades, heavy machine guns, and RPGs. We have the equipment to make ammunition. Every type, every caliber. This is our mechanical engineering area. If you need your bike repaired, see the officer on duty. And as you can see here, courtesy of the old National Guard, we are building a fleet of trucks and other vehicles. Once the hordes are cleared from the highways, we will begin to rebuild the roads and bridges. Your slash and burn strategy may stop newts and swarmers, but it won't clear the highway. It won't, it won't stop the hordes, sir. We are aware, Corporal. The hordes. The hordes are a different beast entirely, aren't they? <laughs> Plan, sir? Benjamin Franklin once said, by failing to prepare, you are preparing to fail. We are not going. The heart of the army lives here, at the gate, ready to move on my command. These tents house hundreds of women and men, just like yourself, who have pledged and sworn their lives to the fight. But I have something else in mind for you. An assignment that requires more than just the ability to survive in the shit or use a gun. Uh, Are you up for it, sir? find a bush. Uh, yes, you sir. Right? Wherever you need me. You Excuse asked how you. we were going to defeat the Horde? Let me show you. Move it. Oh, that bill. You okay, Lieutenant? Oh, hey, Colonel. Sorry about that. Too much acetone in that batch. Lieutenant Weaver is our chemical engineer. He's working on new ways to, to blow shit up. Feet the enemy. Sorry, but yeah. Uh, name's Weaver. James. Saint John. Deacon. All this militia shit's just for show, right, Colonel? Corporal Saint John is new to Corey's unit. If you need anything from out in the shit, he's your man. Oh, shit, yeah. yeah. There's a couple of things I need. What are you working on? Oh, just the new gelling agent combining naphenic and palmitic acid. You're working on napalm? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> dude... Oh, any time. Oh, Colonel. I'm getting real close, Colonel. Very close. That's good. That's really good. Where are you going next, Colonel? Wizard Island Witch? That'll be all, Lieutenant. <clears throat> Again, let me apologize for my more eccentric officers. No need, sir. We have one final stop. As much as I believe in Lieutenant Weaver's work, what you're about to see could be, I think, our path to victory. All right, what is this? Ma'am, I got everything on the requisition form. Does this look like fabric softener? No, ma'am. Okay, why don't you read it? Active ingredients. Chlor chlor chloroform and uh, eight terp turpin turpin. Get out. Shit. Get out! 
I can't do this if I have to do my own supply runs. I got it covered. <laughs> Lieutenant Whitaker, this is Corporal St. John. He's a new member of Curie's unit. He's got some experience out in the shit. Read this. What? Read this. I mean, you can read, can't you? Form A terpenol, benzo alcohol, halothic acid. Good enough. When can he start? Ah, I'll leave you to it. Carry on, Lieutenant. Leave us. Sir. Stand at attention. Find you. you had died and I, uh, no, we were overrun. And we had to go south. We, Nero, they yeah, said Nero, that no one no, made I it out. Ryan and Farewell I was away. overrun. They said that everybody the was dead. I, didn't think that I never thought I would see you again. Back, come on. No, no, Deacon. I can't. Forcing you to stay here? No, you don't understand. We're fighting a war. Don't you see? This is a war that we can win. I ain't coming here to fight a war. I can be helpful. I can make a difference, but I. I can't go with you. I have to stay here. Don't you get it? You, you can stay here with me. Help me. <laughs> Look, afterwards, whatever you say, we, we, we can go wherever you want. <clears throat> Colonel's looking for you. Whatever you say, ma'am. Wait, wait a second. Your requisition form. Thank you, soldier. No parada. Corporal St. John to Lieutenant Weaver. This is Weaver. What can I do for you, Corporal? Uh, your requisition form says you need mercury. Any idea where I can get it? Yeah, sure. I should have written that shit down for you. It comes from, uh, Cinnabar. Corey's unit scouted out of mine north of Diamond Lake. Head there, radio me when you arrive. Yes, sir. Hey, between you and me, if the colonel isn't around, stop with all the yes sir, no sir bullshit, all right? Yeah. Makes me feel old. All right, all right. 